Life comes at you fast sometimes. Oduwole Oisawi went from making his substitute Premier League debut to his starting Premier League debut for Wolves. My name is Sam. This is the Yank Report, the show where we talk about the U.S. men's national team. Let's get into it. Fresh off of his Premier League debut against Chelsea, Owen Oisawi made his starting Premier League debut against Burnley. And Oisawi played a really interesting position. You know, he was playing in different spots depending on the phase of the game. Whenever Wolves were in defense, he was more of a box-to-box defensive midfielder, pressuring everything and being a big physical presence. Whenever Wolves got the ball and they were on the breakout, he kind of moved up into a a striker position, and he was playing hold-up. He was fighting with the center backs. He was winning balls in the air. And then on the attack, he would slide into the box, and he would be looking for headers and crosses. I think right now, where Wolves have so many injuries in the attack, they're just looking to find creative ways to get their attackers into space. And this was really interesting. And it, it really mirrored what Weston McKinney is doing at Juventus. Now, the big question mark from this game is uh, we didn't see Oasawi with the ball at his feet too much, playing too much. So that's still a question mark as to whether or not he has the short passing and ability on the ball to make him a quality Premier League player moving forward. But he's putting in enough on the defensive side of the ball and winning enough balls in the air that I think we'll get he'll get more and more opportunities in the Premier League and we'll get more and more opportunities to watch him play. Hey, if you're liking this video, if you like this type of U.S. men's national team content, please consider subscribing. We're right around that 100 subscriber mark. I'd love to break 100 subscribers during the Christmas break. Speaking of Weston McKinney, Weston McKinney has been named the 2020 U.S. Soccer Player of the Year. And although you could have given it to Pulisic for his fantastic stretch after the COVID break and maybe Gio Reyna for his breakout season, I mean, Weston McKinney has just been a fantastic story this year. I mean, at the beginning of the year, he was playing for a, a Schalke team that's just facing relegation and not looking that great to a transfer target where we don't know where he's going to go. Is he going to end up in the championship? Is he going to end up in Southampton? Then there's reports maybe he's going to go to Juventus. And we were all like, I mean, that's crazy. He ends up signing for Juventus and we all question how he's going to fit into Juventus. He ends up getting playing time right away. He shines. He becomes an integral part of the team. Now he's starting game after game after game. And his game personally has just improved immeasurably over these last over the last year. This weekend, Juventus took on Parma and Weston McKinney got the start. It was another consecutive start for Weston. Weston played in a nice ball for uh, Morata. And Morata just, oh man, Morata is struggling right now. Morata seems to either score a worldie or he just completely falls apart. And then later on in the game, Wesley created another opportunity off of a corner kick where he headed it down to Banucci, who, man, it seemed harder to miss, and he somehow missed the entire goal. But overall, a great game for Wes. Wes made a lot of contributions, both offensively and defensively. Now over to London, where Christian Pulisic made another start against West Ham United. This has been a really interesting season for Chelsea, where they came out real hot, and now they're kind of slowing down. Uh, They really needed to get a result against West Ham today. They got an early corner kick goal, and then after that, they really struggled for long stretches. I really think Christian was probably their most exciting player today, and a lot of the positive things that happened for Chelsea were because Christian Pulisic made some great runs. Uh, He ended up getting a goal involvement later on in the game where he picked up the ball at around midfield and made that patented Christian Pulisic direct at the defense slaloming run where he finds Mason Mount on an outlet and then runs directly at goal. He gets on the end of a cross and somehow, someway, the goalie got, I think, a knee to it. The ball falls to Tammy Abraham, who just puts it away. Staying in England, Anthony Robinson got another start for Fulham and went 90 minutes. This is becoming a common occurrence. It looks like Robinson is making that position his own at Fulham. Robinson on a not great Fulham team has been one of the bright spots. And with the with the stretch that he's putting together right now, it seems that even if Fulham get relegated, he's going to be hanging around in the Premier League. The marquee American on American matchup this weekend was Valencia versus Barcelona out in Spain. We saw Yunus Musa versus Serginho Dest. Dest went 90 minutes. 
Musa came out in the 42nd due to an injury, but it looks like that injury is not going to be a problem. He's going to be able to play moving forward. Now for a few quick hitters, Tyler Adams got the start and went 90 minutes against Cologne. Gio Reyna got the start and went 90 minutes against Union Berlin for a Dortmund team who is struggling right now. And finally, Timo Weah got 29 minutes as a substitute against PSG. Now that's it for me, guys. There are so many games happening right now over this congested Christmas fixture list. I'm going to be putting out videos right and left, so get ready for that. If you like this video, if you like this type of content, please subscribe. We're right around the 100 subscriber mark, and I'd love to get over that during this Christmas break. So please subscribe. Uh, give this video a like. That helps out a lot. And a comment. Uh, if you have a comment, I will definitely respond to your comment. Uh, my name is Sam, and this is The Yank Report.